In this video, we will be discussing about MSC1 processing and antigen processing and presentation. In MSC1 processing, the nascent MSC1 molecule gets transformed into functional MSC molecule. We see in a process of MSC maturation, there is an assembly of light and heavy chains of MSC molecule within the endoplasmic reticulum. And in antigen processing and presentation, the pathogenic or foreign proteins are processed via ubiquitination and proteasomal degradation. Then we get the small peptides after processing. And these small foreign peptides are then presented on cell surface by MSC1 molecule. Now let's see in detail how these events occur within the endoplasmic reticulum. In this diagram, we see we have a cell having endoplasmic reticulum, we have the Golgi apparatus and proteasomes. The other organelles are not shown here because we have to deal with these organelles only. Now we see outside of the cell, we have the pathogen which marks its entry into the cell where it starts translating its proteins as shown in the diagram. But these pathogenic proteins have high error rate during translation, which is easily picked up by the ubiquitin enzymes. Then these pathogenic proteins are ubiquinated and are processed through proteasomes. And from this processing, these long peptides are broken into small peptides near about 15 amino acids. Now looking at the other side of the story, which includes the MSC processing. The ribosome on the endoplasmic reticulum makes nascent MSC heavy chain. Then comes in the calinexin protein, which binds with the nascent MSC1 heavy chain, thus stabilizing the structure of nascent MSC chain. Basically, the calinexin is a chaperone protein, which catalyzes glycoprotein disulfide bond formation. And also, it is in the folding of MSC1 class alpha chains in the membrane of endoplasmic reticulum. So after that, we get the structure of MSC molecule like this as shown in the diagram. The alpha chain we get after folding consists of three domains with alpha 1 domain, alpha 2 domain and alpha 3 domain. Now in the proceeding step we see we have the beta 2 microglobulin molecule which is the light chain. So upon association of calinexin with MSC heavy chain, the calinexin also aids in the binding of light chain that is the beta 2 microglobulin. This beta 2 microglobulin molecule binds with the MSC heavy chain thus completing the structure of MSC1 molecule. Furthermore, this calinexin protein is replaced with another chaperone protein called the cal reticulin. Within the endoplasmic reticulum, we have the cal reticulin and an oxidoreductase enzyme called the ERP57. The cal reticulin takes over the function of calinexin protein, which is the chaperoning. And there is also association of another enzyme that's ERP57, which is also known as protein disulfide isomerase A3. This enzyme helps in the formation of disulfide bonds within the protein structure of MSC molecule. Now after completing and stabilizing the final structure of MSC1 molecule, this MSC1 associates itself with tapasin enzyme. This tapasin enzyme signals the TAP transporter to transport pathogenic degraded proteins. So here we see peptides are transported into the lumen of endoplasmic reticulum. Once peptides are inside the endoplasmic reticulum, these 15 amino acid peptide fragments are further trimmed into 8 to 10 amino acid long peptides by ERP1 and TAB BPR in a process of peptide editing. Then after that, these small foreign peptides are loaded into the MSC groove by the help from PLC, that's protein loading complex. So this concludes the MSC processing and antigen processing. Now we need to present this peptide molecule on MSC towards the TCR of another cell in the process of antigen presentation. In antigen presentation, the MSC1 molecule with foreign peptides on it is sent into the secretory pathway through Golgi apparatus via vesicle formation. Then this vesicle fuses with the membrane and embeds this MSC molecule within the cell membrane. This leads to presentation of antigen towards the other cell. The TCR from the other cell recognizes the MSC molecule with peptides and in that process the CD8 molecule also aids in tethering the MSC molecule with TCR. And after all these events, the cell sends out the chemosignaling to knock out the cell via apoptosis. 
So this is how the MSC1 processing and antigen presentation works within the cell. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting my work on Patreon and also make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.